In today's video, I'm gonna explain a 500 calorie diet and it looks like this. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Rovella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, we're gonna discuss a pretty controversial topic, but something you'll often hear about are these very low calorie diets, 500 calories per day. And the reason I like to address these questions is because it's part of the common popular culture on how to lose body fat. So we're gonna talk about what are the goods and the bads of a 500 calorie diet, who a 500 calorie diet is appropriate for, and if this is something you've been undertaking, what should you do when coming out of this approach? But we're gonna start with right here on today's question. We're gonna address on my Instagram direct message. Go there if you guys have questions, always. Click subscribe if you like following along this type of content. And guys, when this video is over, I'm gonna to explain to you our transformation challenge, which is kicking off in one month. We're giving away some cash to some of these amazing people you see on the screen right here. I've been crash dieting for two months. I've reached my goal. I looked up my maintenance calories and they're 1700. The past two months, I've been eating 300 to 500 calories, guys. Yes, are you as shocked as I am? It's a 1000 calories plus on special occasions. I'm not really physically active, mostly laying in a bed all day. How can I increase my calorie intake while maintaining current levels of body fat? I wanna stop dieting while maintaining current body fat levels. This is a really good question, guys. And I, uh, first things first, I wanna say this right off the bat. I do not approve of a 500 calorie diet. Now I looked up some of the scientific literature. This is actually often prescribed by medical experts, but it is prescribed for people who are over a BMI of 30. So I'm gonna put on the screen here a BMI chart so you can see what BMI 30 means. That is obese. When you have an extreme level of body fat, the health risks of being that fat outweigh the health risks of eating a very low calorie diet. Why is a 500 calorie diet a problem? Because it's going to have some serious consequences if you stick to it for too long. Most of which is gonna come down to the deficiencies that you're going to get from consuming too low protein, too low fat, too low of minerals, okay? You're basically going to start breaking down the tissues in your body for the caloric needs. You're gonna lose muscle, you're gonna have metabolic issues, you're gonna potentially lose bone density. So even though you are technically losing weight, you are actually losing lean body mass and you're gonna create some metabolic issues that are gonna make that weight very hard to maintain and it's also gonna be unhealthy. So first things first, I'm not suggesting that this picture on the screen, this is a 500 calorie diet. That's the entire day. Guys, most of my meals are more than 500 calories and I eat four times a day. So really what you need to do is look at the overall picture. Now you said you're laying in bed all day and that you've reached your goal. Hopefully this isn't a health issue. So I don't wanna make any assumptions about what's going on with you, but I'm just gonna address it from the perspective of where you're at right now. If you go from 500 calories for a few months up to 1700, which is your expected maintenance, you will store body fat rather rapidly. So what I would suggest is that we start bringing up the calories incrementally, right? I would start with maybe 100, 150 calories the first week, see how you respond. That might help you get the next 50 to 100 calories per week going. Hopefully at some point, you're not just laying in bed. You're able to do some resistance training. You're able to do some activity, some cardiovascular exercise. The best approach to getting and reaching the physique that you're after is not a kind of crash diet approach, but a well-rounded approach where you're looking at maintaining healthy levels of nutrition, training, and cardiovascular exercise for your specific goals. But because I get this question so often, whether it's very big deficits or very low calorie dieting, um, I like to address them because they're very real and they're a part of it. And a lot of people have success with it. A lot of people like to do what's called fasting. So the research that I looked up on this 500 calorie diet, where it initially came from was a fasting approach where people were meant to have two days a week where they were on 500 calories. The other five days of the week, out of those seven days, they were eating ad libitum, meaning they were just eating what they wanted, right? So by taking two days where you're essentially pulling as many as 1,500 to 2,000 calories out of your diet, the theory is you will kickstart fat loss without having an impact on all your seven days. Where someone got the idea to just stick to 500 calories, I think that's probably the psyche of the human being. When you wake up and the scale's down two pounds, a pound every single day, I think that momentum lends itself to getting you excited. But understanding that after a little bit of time, you're losing water weight because glycogen stores water in the muscles, right? This has weight to it 
when I eat and drink at stores, but it is not body fat. If my mind is telling me that the, the number going up on the scale is bad, I may have an issue with that. But when you understand physiology, when you understand the human body, the scale mostly reflects water weight, right? So when you're seeing these numbers drop, especially when you do something like ketogenic, carnivore, where you're just ripping out carbohydrates, you are losing all your muscle glycogen, you are losing all the water that is stored intramuscularly with that glycogen, you're also losing some of it from the intestines. So that water weight, while it looks good on the scale, you're essentially losing lean body mass. And over time, the performance that you're gonna lose in the gym and from doing any type of endurance or sport activities you're doing is going to eat into that muscle. So it's not just about seeing the weight go down, guys. It's about seeing the inches come off. And this is why I like you guys to take pictures and I like you guys to do measurements because body fat coming off, you can measure with this, right? The scale reflects many things, okay? It reflects water. It can reflect body fat, but from day to day, it's usually just water. So with our transformation challenge, what we do is we take pictures at the beginning and pictures at the end. Does body fat come off of our champions? Like look at Drea right here, who was our female champion. Did she lose body fat? Obviously, did she lose inches? Yes, but it's reflected in the pictures, okay? So what we're looking for here is a change, a transformation, not just a weight loss. We're looking for someone to transform their lives, guys, and that's why we're providing you with nutrition plans, training plans, it's open worldwide, most of our winners, I think we've had two winners from Australia, another winner from the UK. So you guys, it's open worldwide. We're here to support you. We're also providing a discount on ProPhysique Coaching for guided coaching if you want. The entry fee is just $50 to get in, get your programs, get in the private group. We're doing weekly videos, sometimes two a week. I'm in there answering questions. All the ProPhysique coaches are. And the reason I wanted to do this challenge, guys, is questions just like this. We want to be able to provide people real world support for their questions, and allow them to transform their lives for the better, have a better understanding of what it takes to lose weight. Yes, I know it's it can be exciting and sexy to do 500 calories, but understand that long-term, you're talking about some real health concerns. And if you don't have a BMI over 30, I don't think any medical person would advise this, okay? There are many approaches to get body fat off. Let's do it the right way. Let's not just get the body fat off, but let's get you the body that you're after. Let's get you the life that you're after. And keep asking these great questions, guys. And if you are in a situation where you've been a very restrictive, don't bring the food up right away. I would say for a week, add 100, 200 calories, see how that goes, and then next week do the same thing, okay? So hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.